So I was browsing Rarity Tools and I came across a collection that I feel will not only sell out at launch, but it has the right combination of elements to share a similar level of success as a recently launched project called Oniforce. So if you aren't familiar with Oniforce, here's their page on OpenSea. There is a great community backing this project and the price floor is currently 3.9 Ethereum. And I feel like the project we're gonna be looking at today will be very similar to Oniforce in terms of its success and its community. So it's worth taking a deeper look at. And I personally plan on purchasing one or more of these NFTs. So while you should always do your own research before purchasing something, I do feel like this project will be successful. So here we are on the Sevens website, thesevensofficial.com, link in the description down below. And they define themselves as 7,000 unique aesthetic collectibles with references from pop culture anime games memes movies and more let's talk about why i personally believe this project will be so successful and the reason behind that is the community if we look at their twitter you can see they are already at 17.2 thousand followers and they have not even launched the project now this morning they were at 16,000 followers so in one day they've already gained over 1,000 followers and the same thing goes for their discord there are currently 26,000 members and when i checked it earlier this morning they were only at 24, 24 and a half thousand members. So it is growing extremely quick. A lot of people are really excited about this project. Now, while having a lot of followers is a great sign, most successful projects I see for NFTs have anywhere between two and a half, 3,000 followers to 7,000 followers. So having 17,000 followers when there's still a week before the project launches, that is a great sign, but it's also the engagement. So if you look at their pinned tweet and the pinned tweet always has the most engagement, it has 7.4 thousand likes and 6.8 thousand retweets. But if we look at their other tweets, so they tweeted this three hours ago, it has 560 likes. Here they're retweeting other people's tweets from the community, people creating content around their project. And this is getting 176 likes, 160 likes, 1.3 thousand likes. And the more we scroll, you're gonna see a post gets a minimum of 150 likes. So this just tells me that the community is really excited about this project. When they see anything to do with this project, they like it. And that is a great sign for the long-term success success of the project. It means that people aren't just here for a pump and dump. They aren't just here to try and make a quick buck. They really have an interest in the project. So the team has been able to create a brand and get brand recognition. So to me, that is a great sign. So if we look at a similar project that I already mentioned, Oniforce, they have 36.6 thousand followers. You can see that their pin tweet only has 700 likes despite having double the followers and a lot of things they'll retweet. It still gets 39 likes, 100 likes. If we scroll, 261 likes, 258 likes. So very similar levels to the sevens, despite having double the amount of followers. So if we keep looking through the community, we're looking at their tweets. You can see here, Mr. NFT, he made a funny tweet about the project. Same thing for 17. They recreated this NFT, which I assume is an official NFT from the sevens project. Here, this person recreated their own version with the banana background, which we're gonna look at in a second. So the community, they're making memes, they're making content around the project, which again is a great way to get awareness to this collection. And it just lets me know that people are excited about this project. They want to see it succeed. They want to be a part of it. So now that we know that the community is there, which is to me the biggest success factor in a project other than the team, we can scroll down and look at the art. Now, in my opinion, this art is beautiful. The artist did a great job. If you want to follow them on Twitter, it's 27 underscore Jans, and they share some of their art. Here they created their own fan art of Oniforce. We also get an idea of what the different properties are going to be. So you have, of course, the background. You have different hats, different masks, different clothing, weapons on their back, and tattoos. So for weapons, we have a sword. We have whatever this giant thing is. You have a tree, you have a scythe, and you have a pipe. You can also see there are different tattoos. So this one has a seven. It seems like seven is potentially quite common. You also have these stripes. You have this little spiral. And if we scroll back to the top of the website, here you can see different tattoos right here. Here there's a barbed wire looking tattoo. I saw one before with a T so right here. So here there's a T tattoo. You also see a different type of mask right there. So again, I'm a big fan of this art style. I really like the aesthetic. There's both an old school Japanese art style to it, but also a modern look to it. Next, we can look at the tokenomics. So there's gonna be a total of 7,000 unique seven NFTs that are gonna be created. And they're gonna cost 0.07 ETH each 
plus gas fees. And let's face it, this seems like it's a project that is in high demand. So the odds that there's gonna be a gas war, that gas is gonna be very expensive, are extremely high. So if you do plan on taking part in the project launch, be sure to have 0.07 ETH plus enough for gas. Nobody can predict how much it's going to be. So have a decent amount in there. So when is this project launching? It's going to be launched on September the 7th at 7 p.m. UTC. And it's going to be on this website. If you've never purchased a project on launch before and you want to see what it looks like, be sure to check out my tutorial where I walk you step by step through purchasing a brand new project. That way you really get to see what it looks like taking part in one of these NFT sales rather than having to buy them on a marketplace like OpenSea where the prices are usually already inflated. So at the beginning of this video, I compared it to Oniforce. Oniforce was a very successful project. I really love the art style and it sucks. I didn't manage to get into this project. And for me to purchase one now, they're way too expensive. You can even see here, Logan Paul just a week ago dropped 188 Ethereum on one of the rarest NFTs in the Oniforce project. So I do hope that the Sevens has a similar success to the Oniforce project. And in my personal opinion, it does have what it takes to make this happen. I want to thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you want to win 25 ADA coins, which currently have a value of $90 Canadian, I'll be giving them away when I reach 1000 subscribers. And in order to qualify, you have to do four things and you have to do all four. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You have to comment your Twitter handle in the comment section down below to this video or any video where I mentioned the giveaway. You have to follow me on Twitter and you have to retweet my pinned tweet. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trades. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.